For the longest time, I was looking for an M8 to film, and um, a mutual of mine reached out saying that he has a M8 Grand Coupe, and he's he doesn't really want to be on camera, but he's willing to tell us what's done to the car, and we, of course, are going to get some um, footage of it driving and also just like the exhaust of how it sits and just a quick walk around and review first off I want to ask him why he bought the car and just his overall experience with owning the car for about a year so I bought the car because um, it checked off the boxes for, for my family we wanted we wanted something that my boys could fit in if I want to take all three of us together and nothing else was quite doing it you know the 911s are nice uh, all the other cars are nice but the back seats are non-existent and this this kind of did it um you can see the price point yeah it's high but for what i needed it it, it did what we needed and found a good fit and the kids love the car i love the car it's fast it's nice um you don't see many of them on the street so it's it's got that to it as well people have no idea what it is when it shows up so summed up like that's about it let's start off with what's done to it and do a quick walk around of the m8 all the carbon fiber the front lip and the side skirts were done uh, it's all uh, rw carbon uh, everything on the car was actually done by novara so the wrap is this uh satin ppf done by novara the rims are four steiners uh, they were actually powder coated by them as well to the I forgot what the it's a bronze finish but it's a different kind of bronze um there's a race chip under the hood, that's that was all done by them as well. Um, the back spoiler is also RW spoiler, and that was done by them as well. Um, the exhaust is stuck, but we will consider changing the exhaust and maybe some downpipes. <laughs> um, um, outside of that, the rest of the car is all stock. Um, there's no things that are done. Why don't we talk about your like top three favorite things about the car, and then just some advice for future owners? So right off the top, it's it's going to be the rims. Um, the rims, I actually saw these on a car probably like six or seven years ago on an M5. And they look really nice and I, I kind of cop their style. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, the second thing will be uh, for sure around the speed. It, it's got pickup. People don't see it. When, when I'm driving down the road, they think it's they think it's just another BMW until it takes off. <laughs> um, and the last thing is just the way it looks. This, it, it looks really unique. It's aggressive. And, you know, it, it just looks mean when your wind's coming up behind you, so that, that would do it. Some advice for future owners that you would probably give, like, if they're in the market for lo looking for one? I mean, honestly, the stock, this car sits too high. You, you've got <laughs> probably, like, t two inches that it's got to go down. Otherwise, it's sitting extremely high. It doesn't, it doesn't have that look. I think that's probably what helps it look more aggressive. Um, and, you know, outside of that, just enjoy it. Just drive it. <clears throat> Take it down the road, just open it up, it's fun. So this is going to be my first time in an M8 um, and yeah it looks really nice, red interior. This.
So I just finished up the M8 Grand Coupe video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I learned a lot of good things about the car and also just in life in general because he's a successful businessman, family man, everything honestly that I want to aspire to be. And I really appreciate his insight and just for him taking the time to tell me about the car and stuff like that. But we're back to my boring car. I'm gonna go edit. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.